here with Jim Vernon from Hermitage Golf Course. Jim, tell us about your career as a PGA professional. I'm at uh, Hermitage Golf Course, a 36-hole daily fee facility in Nashville. And actually, Hermitage was my first assistance job in 1991. Um, that's hard. That's hard for me to say out loud. I was elected to membership in '94, and at the time, our company owned uh, Stonebridge Golf Course in Memphis. So I was head pro there for two years, '94, '95. Then I came back to Hermitage in '96 uh, as director of golf, and I've been there. Um, I've been there ever since. And I realize how unusual that is to be at one place for that long. I've been very fortunate. I work for a PGA professional, Mike Eller, who's been a great mentor and, more importantly, a great friend. And I don't, I don't ever take that for granted. I've been very lucky. Great. Jim, why are you running for secretary? You know, I thought about that question quite a bit. And for the first, I'd say, 10 years or so that I was in the business, I wasn't very involved in the association. And I kept telling myself that I was too busy or I didn't have time. And um, about 10 or 12 years ago, I, I decided uh, that I had a change of heart and I wanted to get more involved. And I found out a few things along the way. One in particular was that we have a lot of really bright PGA professionals, sharp people in this section that are doing a lot of good work and they care a lot about golf and the golf business, uh, the association and, and the members. And then the second thing, and maybe most importantly, what I found out about myself was that the more I served, the more I got back. I got back way more than I gave uh, every time I did something. So for me, it was just kind of a natural progression that I wanted to take that service to the next level, hopefully as, a, as an officer. What skills or traits do you possess which best qualify you to serve as secretary? I think I've gained some valuable experience over the last few years. I'm the chairman of the Section Growth of the Game Committee. I've done that for the last seven years. I've also been on the board as the independent director for the last two years. So, so I've, I've found out a bunch about how our organization uh, works. And then if there's, if there's one trait that I hope to bring to this office, it would, it, would be, it would be leadership. And I've only tried to do one thing as a leader throughout my whole life, and that is to create an atmosphere so that the people around me would want to do well, want to succeed, not only for the business, but for themselves. One of my favorite quotes is, about leadership is if they take away my title will they still follow me and uh, I still I still look at that today are they following me not because of the title on my car my business card or the nameplate on my desk but because they believe in what we're doing and, and they want to do something special if elected what would be your goals and objectives as an officer of the Tennessee section I think the first thing is that that, that I would need to learn um, I've used that word learn a few times today, but I think that that's, that's important. I need to learn from the people around me. Uh, as I've gotten more involved in the association, I've found out, you know, I get to talk to people from across the country now in different sections, and, and we really are a model section here in Tennessee. That's not something that we just say amongst ourselves and, and hope that it's true. It, we really are viewed that way, so I need to not mess that up. I need to continue that tradition. And then... Um, um, Secondly, my main focus will be on growth of the game. It always has been. Um, I'll do my best uh, to, to keep that at the, at, the, at the forefront. I believe that a PGA professional's ability to grow the game and therefore revenue at their facility is the most important trait that they can have. Uh, and that I'll work hard to keep that at the forefront of, of what we do as an association. Well, we appreciate you running. And once again, Jim Vernon from Hermitage Golf Course. Thank you. Appreciate it.